Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will study the generation of FM waves. So there are two methods of generating FM waves. One is the indirect method of Armstrong. Second is the direct method. In this method, we in this video we will study the indirect method of Armstrong, and in the coming video we will study direct generation. So in the indirect method of Armstrong, there are two steps. First, narrowband FM is generated. Narrowband FM is then converted to wideband FM using the frequency multiplier. You can see the block diagram. We have the message signal. We are going to generate the narrowband FM. This narrowband FM is then converted to the wideband FM using the frequency multiplier. The purpose of frequency multiplier is to multiply the deviation frequency by a factor. For example, if I want to use the frequency multiplier of a factor of 12 that is i want to multiply the frequency deviation by a factor of 12 i can use a 12 order non linear device or i can use two second order non linear devices and one third order non linear devices and cascade them together so this is going to give me a frequency multiplier of 12 of 12 after that i can pass it to the band pass filter center at 12 omega c and as a result, I am going to get the frequency multiplier where the deviation frequency will be multiplied by a factor of 12. Now we want to increase the frequency deviation by large value, but such large increase in carrier frequency is not needed. So we use frequency mixing or frequency converter to shift down the carrier frequency to the desired down value, to the desired lower value. The first step is narrowband FM generation. We have already studied the narrowband FM generation in our previous video. This is a review of that. So we have this equation for narrowband FM generation. We have the message signal. We take its integration. We get A of T, which is this thing. Now, the locally oscillated carrier is going to generate the A cosine of omega CT. When, it, when I pass it to the phase shifter, I get minus A sine of omega CT. Now this minus a sine omega ct and this a of t is passed to the double side band suppress carrier modulator or the balance modulator. As a result, I have minus a k f a of t sine omega ct, which is my this term. And this is my a cosine of omega ct. Now these two terms are added together and as a result, I have this equation. As a result, I have the narrow band fm. The carrier frequency is chosen to be 200 kilohertz. This frequency is chosen because it is easy to construct stable crystal oscillators as well as balance modulators at this frequency. Also delta F1 is chosen to be 25 Hz to satisfy the equation beta very very less than 1 which is the deviation ratio. Because the baseband spectrum required for high fidelity purpose ranges from 50 Hz to 15, 50 Hz to 15 kilohertz. So in the worst case scenario, I have beta is equal to, which is equal to delta F divided by B. Here B is the bandwidth of the message signal. So in that case, that will be 25 hertz divided by 50 hertz, which will be 0 0.5, which is still less than 1. Now after this, I need to use the frequency multiplier. Now we know that the final output is, ne is needed to have a frequency deviation of 75 kilohertz, which is 75,000 hertz, which is used in the FM broadcasting. And this is my 25 hertz. So I need a frequency multiplier of 75,000 divided by 25, which is 3000. So I need a frequency multiplier of 3000. Now this frequency multiplier needs to be a factor of 2. So actually I need a frequency multiplier of 3072 that is 3072. Now I cannot use this frequency multiplier at once because the complexity will increase. So I am going to divide it into two. So I can achieve this 3072 using dif different frequency multipliers for example 24 multiplied by 128. I can also achieve this using 12 multiplied by 256. I can also achieve this using let's say for example 32 multiplied by 96. I can also achieve this using 64 multiplied by 48. But here the difference is greater which means that one of the frequency multiplier will get more complex. That's why these are neglected and I am going to use this frequency multiplier. So I am going to use the frequency multiplier in two stages. 
first i am going to use the frequency multiplier of 64 and then i am going to use the frequency multiplier of 48 so the second step is frequency multiplication so here we go this is my message signal and i have then generated the narrow band fm this narrow band fm is actually this whole thing which is this thing as a result of this narrow band fm if you can have a look over here we have the carrier frequency of fc1 is equal to 200 kilohertz and we have the frequency deviation 25 hertz now this is passed to the multiplier of 64 the multiplier of 64 can be achieved by using six doublers so as a result we are going to use the multiplier of 64 now these frequencies this carrier frequency as well as, as, well as the frequency deviation frequency will be multiplied by 64 as a result we are going to have let's say this is my second carrier frequency so this fc2 is going to be equal to 12.8 megahertz here this is my 12.8 megahertz and this frequency deviation will be 1.6 kilohertz so this is for example my del f2 this is 1.6 kilohertz now as i mentioned earlier that we do not want to increase the frequency the carrier frequency by this high value so what we do that we use a frequency converter or frequency mixture. Now this frequency mixture or frequency converter will shift this carrier frequency to the lower frequency which will be 12.8 megahertz minus the 10.9 megahertz which comes out to be 1.9 megahertz. So after the frequency converter we are going to get this FC2 is going to be equal to 1.9 megahertz and the frequency deviation will be the same this is 1.9 megahertz and this frequency deviation will be 1.6 kilohertz now i am going to use again the frequency multiplier and i am going to multiply this by a factor of 48 when i multiply this by a factor of 48 as a result we get fc for example let us call it fc3 that will be equal to 91.2 megahertz and this del f3 that will be equal to 78 76.8 kilohertz which is almost equal to the 75 kilohertz if i want to generate the exactly 75 kilohertz i can use the uh, uh, frequency deviation at the first place which i take the 25 hertz i can take that as as 24.41 hertz if I use the initial frequency deviation that was del F1 as 24.41 Hz, I can get the exactly 75 kHz. But this is 76.8 kHz which is more or less the same. And then after that I use the power amplifier to boost up the power. So this was my indirect method of generation using the uh, narrowband FM and frequency multiplier. Thank you.